That was Treachery, Ride Like the Wind by Elixir off of their 1986 album, The Son of Odin. Uh, that song leads right into The Son of Odin, and that's why it cuts off abruptly there, because it goes right into the next track, which is the finale of the album. We're listening to that today because we have a Thrash Bash song from 1986 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 87 of the Thrash Bash tournament today, and that is match 23 in round 2. And today we've got one of the toughest battles I've had to judge yet. Uh, this is up there with the beginning of this round when we had South of Heaven versus Raining Blood. Super tough decision ahead of us today. But first, if you're new here, let me explain what we're doing. We took the first four albums from the big four of thrash metal, and we threw the songs into a single elimination style tournament. Taking out any instrumentals, songs under two minutes, or any covers... There were a couple that squeaked through, like one cover and one uh, basically instrumental song. But uh, then we also had to take out a couple extras anyway, because we needed 128 songs. Once we had 128 songs, we started up the tournament. And now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best song from the big four of thrash metal in the 80s. Today we're comparing two of my favorite thrash metal songs, from my childhood anyway. First up, we're going to be listening to Welcome Home, Sanitarium which was released in 1986 on, Ma on Master of Puppets by Metallica. Uh, last round, Welcome Home defeated Lucretia, which was a pretty easy battle for me. I don't really like ghost stories. Its competition today is One, released in 1988 on And Justice For All, also by Metallica, of course. One is a great song. That's one of the first songs that I heard from Metallica, and one of the songs that made me gravitate towards that band when I was a younger kid. Well, younger than I am now. I was in high school back then. A lot younger than 40. Last round, One took down Death From Above by Anthrax, which was actually a pretty good song by Anthrax. It's unfortunate it had to go up against One in the first round. This is going to be a tough one and a long one, so let's go ahead and get into the music. Here is Welcome Home Sanitarium.
fucking classic. Love the guitar outro at the end, just the full instrumental outro for, uh, I think, close to two minutes anyway. Um, the guitar solos in general are really good. I love the lyrics in that one. Um, and I love the intro. That that uh, was one of the guitar lines I learned as a kid, and uh, I didn't learn much. So that one sticks with me. <laughs> um, let's see what they did with a full minute more on the song one. Here we go.
that one's another like slow burn uh into a nice heavy thrash song uh both of those songs are really great and the worst part about it is that after today one of them won't be in the tournament anymore i won't be able to listen to it in the tournament anymore i, I have to live without one of these songs and that's that's the really shitty part man um man pretty pretty tough choice though welcome home sanitarium probably is uh it was one of my favorites on that album for a long time and it might still be and one is my favorite off of that album and uh i can definitely say that's still true I'm pretty sure anyway um probably one is a better composed song uh, as far as piecing the parts together and having an overall story goes, including the story told with the music. But Welcome Home Sanitarium is, uh, I think, a little bit more accessible, like easier to listen to, if that's uh, understandable at all. I think it goes a bit harder in one for sure. But I think I'm going to give that one to Welcome Home Sanitarium. That one's just got like a, a deeper nostalgia factor for me. One is a really great Metallica song, and uh, obviously it's going to be on any Greatest Hits album that they would release. Um, and it might be appreciated more overall among fans than Welcome Home Sanitarium. I'm not sure on that, but for me, I gotta give it to Welcome Home Sanitarium. That's the one. That's the one for me. Well, not one, but that's that's the winner. One isn't the winner. We've got social media if you want to talk about it. We've got Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There's also a TikTok account if you feel like these videos are a bit too long and you wish they were shortened down. Check out the TikTok account. I'll link the songs as well as the tournament bracket down in the description of the video, but if you look down below me here, you'll see the tournament bracket URL has appeared. And uh, you can type that into any web browser and check it out that way as well. We have a Venmo and a Cash app, and anyone who donates $10 can get one of these No Ringo, No Life buttons. Just make sure to include an address with that donation. Like this video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content, and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the thrashing and bashing we've got going on for the day, but please chill out with us with some Juliana Barwick next. Thanks for thrashing and bashing. Hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning.